Fasting and Ketosis Can you get into ketosis by fasting? Ketosis is a state reached when the body is deprived of carbs, the body's main source of energy for some time. When this happens, the body is forced to depend on another source of energy, stored fat. The unused fat that has been stored in the body is thus broken down into compounds known as ketones, and these ketones are then used for providing the body with energy. As soon as the body starts depending on fat rather than carbs for energy, ketosis has been reached. Of course, there are many ways of reaching ketosis, of which the most common is by having a low-carb, high-fat routine. Reducing carb intake and replacing it with a high-fat intake can propel your body to start depending on the fat for its energy. But there is another quite simple way. Fasting. Yes, fasting can get you into ketosis. It goes without saying, or you can look at it in this crude way. The body is deprived of all kinds of nutrition, including carbs, for a period of time. It is then forced into generating energy by burning whatever stored fat it can find. But as simple as this may seem, it has to be done correctly to derive the best benefit and not cause health complications to self. What is fasting? Simply put, fasting is willingly abstaining from food. Fasting is an ancient religious practice but has today become even more of a dietary practice than a religious one. There are different types of fasting, and for ketosis, not all are recommended. The most popular forms of health-inclined fasting include dry fasting, abstaining completely from food and water for some hours or a day, water fasting, which involves consuming only non-caloric liquids for 8 to 72 hours, partial fasting, which allows you to consume only certain regulated foods, intermittent fasting. This is the most popular recommended fasting for ketosis and involves abstaining for food for a period of time in between feeding schedules, called a feeding window. You fast and then eat, fast and then eat again. The purpose of fasting is to reduce calorie consumption, and this is what a keto diet does as well. By reducing calorie consumption, fasting provides many benefits including fat weight loss, cardiovascular health, mental acuity, etc. How does fasting get you into ketosis? When you fast, the body is deprived of glucose and so blood sugar levels and insulin drop considerably. The absence of glucose forces the body to burn fat for energy. Hormones such as glucagon and adrenaline are released to stimulate the breakdown of triglycerides stored as fat tissue, hence the weight loss. These triglycerides then move to your liver and are converted into energy and ketones. When your ketone level reaches up to 7 to 8 millimoles per liter, you are said to have reached ketosis. Keto diet also operates in a like manner. In keto, carb intake is reduced, thus causing drops in blood sugar level. But the difference between keto and fasting is that while fasting depends on the stored fats, keto depends on high fat intake. Thus, fasting may lead to faster weight loss since you're burning your stored fat. But if you're combining with keto, ensure the keto is of a low calorie count. How long does it take to go into ketosis through fasting? It takes between 1-3 to three days for your body to reach ketosis when you fast. This is very similar to the time when on a keto diet, but this doesn't mean you are to stay without food or water for up to three days. In fact, most keto dieters combine fasting with keto diet, and this has been seen to help reach ketosis even faster. The time frame for both is, on average, 17 to 48 hours. Combining Intermittent Fasting and Keto Fasting alongside a ketogenic diet has been found to not only reduce the time to reach ketosis, but also boasts the diet's efficiency, offer more benefits, and reduces the risk of health complications including electrolyte imbalances and hypoglycemia. The most popular type of fasting recommended for ketosis is the intermittent fasting, IF, and this derives from its simplicity and convenience. Combining it with a keto diet, the time taken to reach ketosis can be shortened by up to 24 hours. This is very helpful since the earlier you enter ketosis, the earlier you begin to enjoy the benefits like weight loss, etc. While combining IF with keto, there are several options for you so you have to choose which is the most convenient for you. The options include skipping meals. This option allows you to skip one or two meals every day, but not all. 
If you'd go to work early, skipping breakfast would be the most convenient. 24-hour fast. This is a full day fast where you pick out a particular day of the week to abstain from food. Ensure you keep your routine and drink electrolyte-rich liquids during your fasting day to avoid dehydration. Time-Restricted Fasting This is what most people know intermittent fasting for. In this fast, you choose a certain number of hours to fast and a certain number of hours to eat each day. These limited durations are referred to as fasting and eating windows. A window could be 16-8, 5-2, etc. During your eating window, you can eat as many meals as you can. Whatever duration you select as your fasting and eating windows, ensure it is convenient so you can always stick to it. Sticking to a routine is what guarantees you of the several health benefits of keto and fasting, benefits such as reducing calorie levels for weight loss. But a 2016 report established the fact that fasting offers greater weight loss than even very low-calorie diets. Fasting is also much easier to follow. Diabetes Control Fasting reduces blood sugar levels, thus balancing insulin production. These are important in controlling diabetes. Preserving Muscle Strength Most people lose muscle mass and strength when they age, but fasting has been found to prevent this through a biological process called autophagy. Cancer Prevention By replacing old and damaged cells with new ones through autophagy, Cancer can be prevented. As has already been said, fasting promotes autophagy. Preventing heart disease. Getting rid of fat and avoiding certain foods is essential for a healthy cardiovascular system. Fasting also reduces the risk of inflammation. Mental soundness. Production of ketones helps the brain stay alert and sharp. Bottom line. Fasting can get you into ketosis just like keto. Even more preferable, it is better to combine fasting with keto as this shortens the time of reaching ketosis and also offers more benefits than having keto alone. However, care should be taken while fasting to avoid health complications like dehydration, hypoglycemia, and low blood pressure. Avoid water fasts and dry fasts in ketosis as these may lead to complications we've already mentioned. Diabetic patients should also be wary of staying without food for long hours. To yield the best of ketosis, combining intermittent fasting with a low-calorie-based keto diet is recommended.